Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I bring appreciation and all my best wishes to you Matt for the ministry in the UK Europe zone of the youths. I am also delighted and deem it as a privilege to minister in whatever small capacities here right now through this small message to reach out to the many youths. May God bless us all. This Sunday, the Marthuma Church meditates upon the Annunciation to Joseph. Joseph is a very important character in the Bible, but interestingly, a very silent man. Joseph, the husband of Mary, does not have a sentence ascribed to him. Look at yourself, ask yourself, are you comfortable with silent people? We will make comments by saying, he does not talk much. Oh, she's an introvert. Oh, she doesn't seem to be very people oriented. All these things seem to be like a, sick, a stigma. But we should understand, silence is the womb from which word is born and silence give meaning and coherence to words. There is an important saying that says, from the silence of chaos, God created the music of creation. Silence is not the emptiness of words, but the possibility of noise harmonizing together to form words. The silence of Joseph, the silent man that we call, was the womb for eternal word Jesus to be born. We are looking at Matthew chapter 1 verses 18 to 23. And I have three quick points out of the life of Joseph. The first point is by embracing Mary, Joseph emptied himself and countered the biggest fear of what will people say. As you know, he was tempted to divorce her, but through the encounter, he was ready to empty himself and was bold enough to face the, the wrath and the judgment of the people. That's a lesson for us. Next point is, he showed that taking the legally right option is convenient and easy, but the root of grace is a risk worth taking. We always want to be safe. We always want to be legally right, but there is a time when it comes that we have to take a position of grace and that is a risky one that Joseph was ready. Third point. Joseph means God will increase or add. Let me repeat that. The literal meaning of Joseph is God will increase or add. Joseph understood. Unless one is ready to decrease or cut one's ego, God will not have space enough to add his beautiful story. My dear friends, Christmas is a time of music, of mirth, laughter and joy. But let there be some silence. Silence that is not uncomfortable. Silence of Joseph that says God will increase or add. We are not the saviors of our lives. God is. May this Christmas give us a lot of hope 
and at the same time the maturity to deal with silence and people who are silent and to also have the discipline of silence may god bless us all may we realize that we have only one savior our lord jesus christ and we worship the triune god the father son and the holy spirit may god bless us all